Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3 Episode number 4 Reaction. Okay, the previous episode. <laughs> it started with the whole uh, cheating thing like you know, uh, Nagisa suspecting uh, the guy um, that he was cheating on her because um, Maki, the other girl who always like, you know, kind of stalks them he has been like spending more time with him her and all that stuff he was doing so she uh, hired a private eye and was able to get a lot of pictures of like you know them going to karaoke them just going for dinner and all that and she was like yeah this is definitely and you know, Kaguya and you know were also like you know kind of uh, listening to her and by the end of it you know it was I was true like you know I, I was correct it was actually him asking uh maki for some advice on which present to give and i'm guessing she, she, he probably took her to karaoke because uh of some kind of a, uh you know like uh what do you call it like he, she probably asked her like okay like you help me out what should i like you know give you back with like what should i repay you with and he probably said something like oh let's go to karaoke or something like that and he also taught her and all that stuff it's probably because of that as a repayment he did so yeah that was that and then in the next section we see maki obviously because he she has feelings for him her being the sundre that she is just like how kaguya is because they are distant cousins or something her not at all admitting that he she likes the other person but at the same time admitting basically like you know the way sundres do stuff <laughs> and she unexpectedly was able to get two more collaborators or help you could say that is um, Ishigami and <laughs> Shirogane when you know she asked them to help her out and they just agreed because he was cute and Kaguya was mad at that and that was like you know, another hilarious section what happened and the final section was the part where Shino, uh, Shirogane and like you know, all everyone do the 10 yen game and Shirogane had like a feeling where uh, she thought that Kaguya got to know about the whole uh, you know like going to the uh, group date you know like that whole thing he thought that he didn't want uh, her to get some misunderstandings and all and so by the end of that game the game was itself hilarious you know we got a lot of like you know <laughs> mixed answers and everything it was fun but the final part was where uh, she he actually tells Kavya that oh it's nothing like that you know and do you believe me? And in the end, Kaga kind of indicated that, yeah, she believes him by putting the 10 yen, like, you know, like uh, head, heads on top of the uh, desk. So, yeah, that's how it ended. So let's see what this episode brings. What more funny stuff happens? This is episode number four of Kaga Sama Love is War, season three. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. God. So they basically came to the student council. To just all right. <laughs> okay, I, I probably will cut out the opening part because you know copyright. I don't want to take any risks.
All right, let's see. <laughs> she can probably <laughs> Shina Bean. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, Ishigami! Wow! <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> god damn! Oh, this girl! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, her name is Subame. Okay. Blend rhythm gymnast. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yukun. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh, <laughs> I just assumed you, okay. Oh my god, alright, come here. <laughs> Enough with your teasing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> you can die. Yeah, we did see in season two, you know. Mm. Like at that moment, he didn't even see all of their faces, you know. Like, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Back off spirit. Hmm. Yeah, oh my god. <sighs> Don't care. Oh my god. Yeah? Okay. Well, look who's <laughs> look who's speaking. Oh, how is that? <laughs> she wants to listen to that. <laughs> okay, then Oh, wow, he just, he just died, okay. Okay, no, please don't do that. I don't think that'll work, and I'll probably creep her out. I, oh, <laughs> I, no, 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 as I said. Just like I said, <laughs> exactly. Don't do that. Yeah, she probably think like a stalker is creeping up on her or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's see how. Oh, okay. Album. 
No. 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 Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Wait, someone's in here already? Who is here? Is it Eno? I think it's Eno. Mm. <laughs> Is someone in this room other than those two? I, I think it's probably you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> Intellectual okay, cloud. Whoa. Okay, you know is top. Okay. True. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. His own inferiority complex will also go. Impossible. They might carry a solo gift, but I wonder who was in the room with them. It's probably Miko Ino. You wish you could. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> yep, nothing's wrong. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, she is also the same. Oh no, wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, is this also a lie? Yeah, it is also a lie. <laughs> okay. Okay, so in her grade, she's the top. Oh my god. That's also a lie. Or maybe it's the, it's the truth. Ah, uh, this is also a lie. <laughs> Obviously, grandfather. It's stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. 
Okay. Do for today math. Wait, maybe it was not Miko who was in the room. What the hell? Oh! He unleashed the shouting gun! <laughs> okay. Shut up, you dumb. <laughs> We <laughs> saved it. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Hmm. I really hope he does well, at least. Miko, you know, obviously number one. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Ah. Uh. Oh, no, no, he's probably lying. Yeah, he's lying. Yep, there you go. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. This is a male talk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, nah, nah, he's, she's, she's fine, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Or is it a lie? Or is it a lie? Oh my god, oh no. Okay, okay, now that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, both of them are top. Wait, I need to read this later on. One fifth, okay. Oh. Oh, even K as well. <laughs> okay. Today? Yeah, I don't... Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Shogun and the others couldn't make it. Oh yeah, she, he's a, oh my gosh. That's, that's her. What? Oh my god, I thought it was a new character or something in the trailer. Okay, wow.
<laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> God. Wait, what? <laughs> what are the settings? Super butler. Um, here we go. Oh my! <laughs> oh no, she's going to. That's not okay. Oh no, I I'm I'm pretty sure she's going to go and spread this to Shirogane. Wait, what? That's. Wow, everything's so happy, you know? Wow, what is happening here? This is too sparkly! Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Wait, oh my god, is she getting drunk? Oh my god. Well, you're right. <laughs> I, we know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gun chatter. Two hours late. Oh no, if she actually spills the beans here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. This is okay. This is a. K just stopped. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it's Kaguya. <laughs> what the? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> oh no. This is. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, but obviously, she's going, she's going to get interrupted somehow, I know that. Okay, it's just... <laughs> oh, did she fall, fall asleep? Yeah, she falls asleep.
Damn, she's fast with her disguises. Oh, wow. Okay. She just called him with his, in his first name. Yo. Yo. Chica. Okay. Lives in Yamate, descended from immigrants. Oh my god, this was insane. <laughs> oh my god, as soon as I, as soon as I saw like, you know, like them bring, bringing up Hasaka, I knew this was going to happen. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, that's the end. Alright, another wild episode and uh, Alright, the first part was kind of serious. Uh, we get to see Ishigami and his frustrations. Um, first of all, Ishigami <laughs> just like, you know, like always, you know, like, like seeing like, you know, couples beside him, he, he gets a little bit cranky and uh, Nagisa and that guy like, you know, coming and just, <laughs> you know, like just flirting in front of him. It's like shine shine beam, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he's just furious. So Kaguya's like, oh, like you know, like why are you like you know acting like this? Like you know, like don't you have anyone who you like? And he's like, ah, oh, I'm above this, you know, like I'm I don't care about anyone. And in comes Subame, and he's like, oh, Subame, Subame, Subame san, <laughs> and <laughs> the way he changes, and then like, oh my god, like. We, we already saw her, you know, like, she, she's that type of a person who doesn't have, you know, like, what do you call it? Like, like doesn't have any, um, you know, uh, restraint. And then she just goes, like, you know, touchy with ev everyone else. Like, you know, just being so friendly with others. And, like, you know, Ishigami being Ishigani, Ishigami, you know, like, she, she coming and just, like, you know, patting his head, just, like, you know, kind of <laughs> touching him. Ishigami got <laughs> embarrassed. And not only that, I'm not just saying because of that, because, uh, but he himself said that previously and during the whole season two incident where she tried to get become friends with Ishigami, she was the one who always stuck around him and tried to like, you know, make him open up to them. And uh, in the end, she was also the one who shed tears for him, him as well. Not him, but for, for the situation. And <clears throat> that is like, you know, the main reason why he, likes her and which is obviously understandable because you know like the whole thing of him not believing anyone after that uh incident in like you know his backstory not believing anyone not like you know just not opening his heart to anyone else uh except the people in the student council he like you know after he was able to see other people's face and like you know, was able to focus on them and uh, he was able to just you know, like look at the situation in a more broader spectrum and uh, yeah he 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 was able to understand that because of this person you know like if, even when i was not like you know paying any attention was making barely any effort to do anything she was the one who stuck around me and tried to like you know m make me feel better so yeah that's why like i understand that <laughs> but 
<laughs> this is probably also a part of him which is like you know very embarrassed because she always kind of you know jumps on top of him and just kind of pats him and everything so yeah like <laughs> this is ishigami so obviously now ishigami is like oh like you know like it's, it's impossible like she is like that oh like not no sorry ishigami did not say that at first he was like no i'm like no i i don't like and i'm not i don't like her and just denying it when kaguya just kind of eases him and says like oh like he there's she's actually very popular and there's a lot of people who might have you know feelings for her so yeah you just keep twiddling your thumbs like this and you'll be too late <laughs> where he kind of you know brings out his actual feelings <laughs> then he says like he actually brings out his original like you know feelings she says he says that it's impossible like even if i like her she is way above my <clears throat> you know like reach and uh, like you know, it, it, it's, it's impossible to just you know catch up to her or like you know, you know tell her of my feelings. So she he says like oh I'm hopeless I know that and all of these things he was just saying and Kaguya just I probably got a little bit frustrated angry because I I feel like Kaguya sees herself in Ishigami a lot and that's why you know like. I don't know. I, I feel like that. Like even even in season two, I think season two or season one, we saw Kaguya sympathizes a lot with Ishigami because she probably sees herself in him, and uh, that's why she, like you know, like not only like you know like his his sad story, his sad backstory. Like uh, you know what? We still don't know anything about Kaguya's backstory. That's kind of one thing that I've always thought about. So like you know, looking at her and looking at the past. Uh, flashbacks that we kind of got with Kaguya where everyone called her I think like the ice princess or something like she was just very cold didn't talk to even Ishiyoganim that much uh, <clears throat> so from that from that little interactions and everything from those little flashback scenes I'm probably guessing and it's probably correct my guess is probably correct that Kaguya also probably has a sad story sad backstory or something like that um so yeah like that's probably why he she kind of sympathizes with ishigami a lot more and uh, she just stares at him for for a moment and she's like oh like you know you don't give me those type of excuses you know make subame koyasu uh, fall for you and to do that um and he she kind of says like okay you are like you know afraid to even give it a try just because you might be disappointed you know like like this is what happens like you know people like ishigami they are afraid to try in itself because they think like oh either way it'll be not worth it because i won't be able to do anything so why give my effort at something which will result to nothing and they are also like you know afraid of probably gauging or probably seeing their capabilities like you know like here ishigami ishigami is like oh it wouldn't matter because i won't be able to do anything in the tests and uh, it's definitely because he underestimates himself that's one point another reason is he's probably scared of seeing his um limits that's another thing he's he's scared he, people like this like they tend to get scared of seeing each like you know each person's limit they they think that oh like you know if i try my best here and i still i'm unable to get the proper result that will prove that i'm a good for nothing they think of it in that way so that's why they get scared of giving an effort in itself which is like i don't know which is like the base problem of this thing like people get scared of the failures even before trying and ishigami definitely has that thing so okay now we, we were having this conversation kage was talking to ishigami and everything now, did I see this wrong, or like, you know, is my eyes playing tricks on me? Did the did the chair move? I think I th I think someone is in the room except them as well. Like they were I, I don't know, they were bringing a weird angle where they were kind of focusing on the chair, and then suddenly there was like one scene. I, let me see if I can find that scene again where I feel like the chair kind of moved, and 
fucked. I'm like, wait, what? Like now, now I'm really confused. They kind of never, like, you know, really showed us anything after that. And I'm really confused now that am I, did my eyes play tricks on me? Or did that really happen? Did the chair move? Let me try to find that scene again. I need to double check again because I feel like the chair moved there. <laughs> and if it really moved, then it's probably someone was in this room with them at that moment. Even the angles, the camera angles were extremely weird in this episode. They were kind of giving the angles from the chair. They were all focusing on the chair. So I'm guessing there was someone probably just hiding you know, in that place. And the one person that would probably do that is uh, Eno. Let's let okay. Let me see if I'm able to find that scene again. Okay, the first. Okay, the first part where we cannot like, you know, see that chair rolls up. Ishigami was talking about uh, the the kind of successful way to confess, and he talks about how like he knows like the normal methods won't do anything, so he has some specialized methods. One number one, you know, <laughs> he calls it ultra romantic confession. <laughs> Just drop the title there, and he says like, "Oh, I'm going to put on like you know, uh, leave a flower every day on on her desk." Okay, so what were those flowers? Let me go. Let me go and check those flowers again. First one on Monday, Aga Panthas. Agapanthas Ichigo Ai Chakuyaku Aishi Teppo Yuri Aishi Te Lupines or Lupin Aishi Te Ru or Lupin. Okay, there you go. Aishi Te Ru or I love you. Okay, Aishi Te Ru. Yeah. Okay, so that's how, you know, like he, he was like, oh, this is how I'm going to do it. Now, the question here is, number one, who the hell will know that this is you that is doing this? Number two, um, yeah, I agree with Kaguya, that's creepy. You know, like, <laughs> so would probably freak out thinking, who is doing this? Does someone have any grudge on me or is someone stalking me? Like, so, yeah, that's a big no-no. So Kaguya was like, Kaguya was like, oh no, it's creepy. A stranger leaving a single flower on your desk every day. That would be beyond creepy. And there was a riddle element on it as well. <laughs> okay, then he comes up with another plan, which was... Okay, Alba. Okay, this... so he says like he's going to show them the, the album, and then... In the end, he says there will be like a note. Okay. She, he says, so maybe I'll give Subame an album of myself. And then in the end, leave her a message on the last page. What is that matter? I want to fill my next album with photos of the two of them. yeah bad ideas don't do that so ishigami's ideas are yeah definitely not something that should be done i was correct i saw that scene the, the chair moved okay so my eyes were not playing any tricks on me the chair literally moved and it was not any like you know wind that like you know made the chair move it moved from this place to this place wind doesn't blow like that so someone was definitely there and it's probably a uh, miko and she was probably just hiding over there probably something happened she was like you know i'm guessing a little stiff or something so she just moved the chair to get a proper position now what I felt weird about this episode was they actually I thought they were going to show us in the end that someone was there and what was happening They completely didn't show anything completely ignored everything after that and just went on a different scene 
And that's why I was like, wait a minute, did my eyes play trick on me at that moment? Did I see it correctly? And now I can see, I'm, I'm back to that part again and I'm correct. Yeah, the chair did move. So there was someone here. <clears throat> now, I'm guessing they're probably going to bring this thing up in a future episode. Maybe two or three episodes later, we're going to get to see this whole thing through someone else's perspective who was in here hiding. It's definitely not Shirogane. I'm pretty sure about that. It's definitely not Chika because Chika is not the person who would hide. It's definitely Miko Ino. I'm pretty sure. Unless and until there's some other person. Or some other person came into the student council room and just decided to hide. Unless and until that happens, it's probably Miko Ino. And uh, we're probably going to see that later on in the future. So, yeah. So... Okay, now Kaguya talks about how, like, you know, like, how you should, like, you know, appeal to the other person. And, like, the things that she says is pretty correct. She says that uh, the way people can appeal to others is, okay, here we go. She says, women are drawn to power. Not only women, I feel like every person is drawn to power in certain, like, you know, way or the other. Um, okay. Arm strength financial clout yeah everyone is uh, like you know attracted to power you know like who wouldn't want some muscles everyone wants some muscles <laughs> financial clout everyone wants money the power of communication everyone wants to be popular yeah everyone wants this and needless to state that also includes intellectual clout as well yeah definitely so she says like these are the way to actually appeal to others and uh, you need at least one of them to like you know kind of break the ice with it and then go ahead with that whole thing like you know to kind of appeal to the other person now obviously like you know this is not only the way uh, the only way to do this uh, like you know if you spend time enough time with others but you could say that's also like another one of those things that she mentioned power of communication yeah so yeah i guess kage is correct like you know either you spend time with them like speak with them just you know become friendly with them and slowly slowly develop the relationship which again falls in one of the categories kage has said power of communication or these methods these different methods um so yeah and kage says that the one like you know thing that you can probably do now is uh like, you know like intellectual cloud you could study and do like you know good in the upcoming tests try to get 50 up rank and you will definitely see some changes now for a moment here like uh, i kind of saw like you know them kind of bringing up the the semester final results and i saw number one miko ino and i'm like wait a minute isn't number one shirogane and then i realized like no this is a like you know this is a lower class and uh like not lower but like in a junior class like shirogane is on, like you know the on the other like she, he's a senior so yeah that's why miko ino is in the top here okay and she's like all right you become top 50 and uh, that's how like you know like this is going to start this whole you you will be able to attract attention to yourself so that was the first part. Then we kind of get to see like everyone's getting it ready. And here I, I'm still thinking who it was in the room because Ino was acting very normally. And when everyone was talking about Ishigami, like Ino also kind of acted as if he, she was like, you know, even in the test, she was like, oh, obviously not. Like def uh, Ishigami definitely is not studying. So I'm kind of thinking like if she was actually there in that room at that moment, she herself listened to that whole conversation and she must know that she, Ishigami said that, okay, I'll, I'll study, I'll try. So why was she saying that, oh, she's definitely not studying? Maybe he, she thinks that, oh, even though he said that I'll try, he's not trying. Maybe that's why she was in disbelief and not, like, you know, making herself believe that Ishigami is actually trying. Maybe that. But this is just a complete guess, you know, because I don't even know who the hell was inside or if there was anyone inside the room. I'm like 90% sure there was someone inside the room. But who knows, maybe not. Maybe it was something else. Maybe there was like a little earthquake or something and the chair moved. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Or maybe it was someone completely else, not Miko, who was hiding there. Who knows? But we'll see. I'm sure we'll get to know what's happened over there. 
Now, the next part is where the president was like, all right, so this time I'm thinking, okay, not that I have any problem with studying here in the student council room. Okay, so he says like, all right, so we're going to take a little like, you know, like time off, I think he said, yeah, so we won't study here. We're going to study on our own. And uh, everyone's like, oh, that's so considerate of you. And you know, was like, oh no, it's fine. Okay, but if you're saying that, yeah, it's it's okay. I'll, I'll go study in my room. And everyone was lying in a way. First of all, Shirogane was lying because Shirogane <laughs> really, like, you know, his eyes kind of went to Kaguya all the time. That's why he he wanted to get out of the council room. Kaguya was lying because she always looked at her phone. And just kept fiddling with it, <laughs> probably like you know, answering, replying to Shirogane. Um, Ino was lying because again, Ino was also in a similar position to Shirogane. He want she 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 had to keep that position on top. While Chika was lying because she said something about uh, her parents not giving, won't give her, her uh, pocket money after this. But uh, but no, like you know, her grandfather always gives her money. Even if her parents stop providing pocket money, she always she will get any either way. So everyone was lying, and that's why the narrator was like, "It's uh, like you know, like a mixture of lies and something he said." Like <laughs> that was that was funny. All right, so the next part, uh, Ishigami, you know, we see Ishigami in the test, just like kind of writing, doing his best. And we get a little recollection of him studying and uh, you know like it was interesting that here the actual reason for ishigami's um what do you call it ishigami's uh what do, what do you call that um inner desire to study the reason behind it was not because kagya told him to study not because he wanted to impress Tsubame, not any of those, but because he thought that there's at least someone who believes in even like in a, a worthless person like me. Kaguya's trust was the reason why he actually did study himself properly. And like, yeah, that was, that was the reason. And uh, like this really shows how he's always insecure with about himself he you know like it, it, the previous episode in itself like, kind of gives us a big hint to that not only of the, the previous episode we've always known ishigami is kind of um uh self doubts himself but the previous episode when he said that oh is there anyone who hates me you know that in itself was another big kind of like you know indication that he has no faith in himself and he thinks that there's someone who has some faith in myself so at least for that person i should give it my all like this is something like that whole thing i was like you know that whole uh, quote of guran lagan i get reminded of believe in the you that believes in me i think that was it yeah don't believe in myself believe in the you that believes in me i think it was something like that this kind of reminds me of that like an ishigami basically tried to do that he believed in Kaguya who believes in him, like, you know, himself. So, and he gave it his all. And uh, unfortunately, the list was not in the, na uh, like, you know, uh, name was not on the list. So it was below 150, unfortunately. And uh, Kaguya was like, are you, are you frustrated? And he's like, nah, like, obviously not. Like, how can I be frustrated? I knew this was going to happen. And then he goes to the toilet and starts crying. Uh, he's like yeah like how can this happen Kaguya comes in Kaguya was like so what do you think will you be trying again will you will you try your best the next time as well and he was like yeah I'm going to do it next time I'm going to make it to top 50 <laughs> and Kaguya's like all right I'll I'll train you even more <laughs> and then <laughs> Ishigami is like, oh, you like, you know, like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, you, you also have, like, you know, would probably have problems because you're giving more attention to my studies. Won't you have problems? I was like, ah, don't worry about me. I'm fine. 
<laughs> and then he says, oh, like, yeah, you're right. You know, you're, you're number two. And that's what triggered Kaga. Kaga was like, oh, you're the reason why. <laughs> I, like, you know, I, I wasn't able to pay attention, but that in itself was why. <laughs> and that's how the narrator says the... What did he say? The narrator say this exam period fraught with lies and bitterness ends. And yeah, she okay. So uh, the test results I could see here. All right. First of all, let me let me see the result. What who? Like, you know, what rankings changed? Okay, here we go. Um. Second semester academic rankings Go Kazamatsuri 11 to 30, Nagisa Kashiwagi 7 to 27. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, we know the reason why. Chika Fujiwara 101 to 111, she did even worse. I Hayasaka 114 to 140, Hayasaka as always. Kashiwagi's boyfriend 84 to 34, that's a huge damn. Um, and then uh, Miko, you know, one to one, you Ishigami 117 to 152. There you go. Okay, the so Ishigami was very close, you know, he was he was just so close, but a little bit, uh, two, two more rankings. <sighs> Sad, but I, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to do it next time. All right, the next part is where. Chika wants to have like a house party and she invites Kaguya and you know like Kaguya, K, Shiroga and everyone and Kaguya was like all right so let's do it today so Chika was like uh today my dad is not here but let's have a sleepover either way so they <laughs> now they come into the like you know their house uh oh no sorry uh she, Chika says like why don't we go to your house and in Kaguya's house they come and uh, the thing here is you know this this glasses guy that was shown in the trailer I remember saying something like oh this person looks like uh, like you know like a trap or a female you know, like and I said something about like I think this is a female and uh, like you know let us wait for the anime to start I'll, I'll check whether like you know my intuition is correct or not oh my god i never really thought that was hayasaka like i was correct this is a female but i was in no way expecting this was actually hayasaka like what the hell what the hell type of transformation is that she doesn't look like hayasaka at all like if you really kind of focus i guess you could see hayasaka in like you know in Hasaka, like this butler, but still, like you know, looks nothing similar. Like it's a damn good disguise. <laughs> so yeah, like this is Hasaka, their butler, and uh, <laughs> this part was hilarious. At first, Chika was like Chika, like you know, like going, and Chika asks Hasaka, like you know, what, like you know, what do you do with for school and all. And she starts talking about, like, you know, bringing up some um, weird backstories. She says, I, I skipped some grades and graduated from Harvard. <laughs> then he says, like, oh, my God. Kaga's like, what the hell are you saying? And he's like, no, my male persona is a genius who skipped grades. <laughs> and a crybaby who works as a butler for, for fun. <laughs> and... He says something about being a war orphan? What what did he say? I can't find that part. But anyways, uh, Chika says that um oh like you know you guys are always together, don't you make it makes your heart flutter? And he's like, ah oh, yeah, it always does. <laughs> Kaga's like, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> She's like <laughs> like you know your every word and action like you know gives me a headache and it always makes my heart pound like Chika's getting weird like you know like impressions and I was like wait a minute would Chika actually go back to school actually spread this again this is Chika we're talking about it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she actually went to school and she just 
went to Shirogan and sent some said something like, "Oh, I went to Kage's house, you know, like the previous day, and uh, like we met a butler. His name was like you know Hasaka, and just said like you know blabbered everything." And I was just thinking, that's when Hataka's like, "Oh, I only have romantic feelings for men." <laughs> Oh my god, Chika gets uh... Okay, so then we get a little montage of everyone just having fun, eating and everything. And Kaguya is sleepy, he's well past her bedtime. I'm so confused because, like, you know, the way they were showing everything, we were not actually seeing Hasaka anywhere near, but she was actually there in that room at that moment. I thought there was only Chika and <laughs> Kaguya. But then Kage was kept drinking soft drinks and Chika just called Shirogane and <laughs> Kage was acting like a drunk and Shirogane was confused. K just comes in. K is like, what the hell are you doing, brother? Like, you know, your house is a mess. Room is a mess. Let me clean. And like, it's full on chaos. <laughs> Chika may, puts more, what do you call it? Like, you know, what do you call it? more oil into the flame and she, she says something like oh there's always like you know some kind of romantic atmosphere going on like so what's happening are you seeing someone and gay's like yeah yeah I, I know that like you know always my my brother's always looking at the phone like giggling and everything and <laughs> like as soon as they were talking about phones i was like oh my god like is, is this going to go in the hasaka direction you know and i was correct he, she just says like I've seen the name it's called Hasaka and <laughs> Chika gets one of the most weirdest misunderstanding because for her Hasaka is this male butler for Shirogane Hasaka is the female like you know that that person so oh my god like it's <laughs> Chika just goes to the toilet and <laughs> oh no, Shirogan and uh, Kaguya talks and then there was a little section where Kaguya like you know just kind of as always the way she does you know whenever her mind is not working she keeps blabbering about <laughs> these type of things. She says something about oh who do you like and then she's like oh let me tell you who I like and kind of does that whole thing falls asleep and Hasaka was quick to change into her normal form like is fast and uh, yeah like more confusion K is confused uh, Chika is confused everyone's confused only Hasaka realizes what happened Kage is asleep Kage has no idea what happened here and that's where it ends <laughs> fantastic episode more misunderstandings more shenanigans and the first part was really like you know uh, heartfelt and really nice I like the whole Shirogane section so I'm sure Shirogane would do better next time so let's see so that's it guys thanks for watching this was my reaction to kaguya sama love is war season 3 episode number 4 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of kaguya sama love is war until then goodbye and have a nice day